Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Jack Cullen defeats John Doherty, the previously unbeaten prospect, John Doherty, by a unanimous decision. This fight was an eliminator for the British super middleweight title, and yeah, Jack Cullen has put himself in a good spot now with this win. Going into this fight, John Doherty was the favourite. There were a few people in the UK that was touting John Doherty to be a real sort of standout prospect. And uh, yeah, going into this fight, he was certainly the favourite. So Jack Cullen upsets the odds in this one. And yeah, this fight was actually a really fun fight to watch, to be honest. First round, really good start by John Doherty. He actually dropped Jack Cullen with a left hand. Both guys came out fairly aggressively, and it was John Doherty who got the best of the first round. I think the mistake that Jack Cullen was making in that first round was the fact that he was far too loose, wasn't paying enough attention to defence, and quite frankly, him getting dropped so early might have been the best thing that happened to him in this fight, because after the knockdown, Jack Cullen's defence was a lot better. Nothing special, but he was just he was staying a lot more compact, using a high guard, a nice tight high guard, and he was boxing off a jab a lot more, picking his shots a lot more wisely. And after the, after the uh, first round, I felt Jack Cullen was pretty much in control for the majority of the rounds. He was forcing good pressure on John Doherty, working the body. Jack Cullen's short left hook as well was constantly landing on John Doherty throughout this fight. And yeah, to me, Jack Cullen was the guy picking the better shots and he was really picking his moments well. You know, John Doherty was still having moments. He was landing some good straight left hands out of that southpaw stance. But to me, you know, Jack, Jack Cullen always looked like the guy who was in control. And as the fight wore on, you could tell the fight was getting harder and harder for um for John Doherty, especially in like the last four rounds or so. Um early on in the fight as well, John Doherty got a bad cut, um, which was caused by a punch from what I saw. It was caused by a jab from Jack Cullen. And that cut certainly didn't help things for John Doherty. And yeah, in the last few rounds it got even more uncomfortable for John Doherty. Uh, John Doherty was hurt quite badly in the 8th round, he, caught a, he, he got caught by a right hand and then followed up by a left hand and it kind of staggered the legs of John Doherty and John Doherty was definitely hurt for quite some time and he was definitely very uncomfortable after that because after he got hurt, John Doherty constantly, well his, his mouthpiece constantly fell out a lot of times that is a fighter spitting it out to get a break, you know, to clear their head because they're hurt. That's what it looked like to me personally. I think uh, John Doherty was quite hurt in round 8 and round 9. But, you know, credit to John Doherty for getting through it. He certainly showed good heart and a decent chin. He took a lot of shots in this fight and a lot of punishment. And he sucked it up and he tried to come back. So, listen, John Doherty certainly has a heart, but in terms of technical skills and the flaws that he's showing right now, he needs a lot of work. He is still very young at 23 years old, but from what I've seen from him, I don't believe the guy's ceiling is all that high. I think he can do well at domestic level in the future, but I would say that's his ceiling, to be honest. His defence just really isn't there. Uh, when he throws shots, he kind of lunges in with his chin in the air, especially when he throws the left hand, and he's open for counters. You know, he was walking into shots all night from Jack Cullen, so defensively, he certainly needs to improve. And also in regards to his strength and stamina, Jack Cullen is a guy who's actually moved up from middleweight and he was pushing John Doherty around in there, you know, and he, and he showed the better gas tank in comparison to John Doherty. So Doherty needs to improve his defence, his stamina, and in my opinion, his strength and all around boxing skills. But um, certainly a tough kid. He came to fight. He made it a good fight, a fun fight. But Jack Cullen was the worthy winner. And yeah, hopefully now Jack Cullen can get a shot at the British title. I believe Lerone Richards and Willie Hutchinson are fighting for that title. Hopefully Jack Cullen can fight the winner. I think they'll be, a, they'll be pretty good fights in my opinion. But yeah, Jack Cullen pulls off the upset. Most people were picking John Doherty in this fight, including myself. But fair play to Jack Cullen. He got the win. Um, best performance of his career, as far as I'm concerned. Showed pretty... Uh, as far as I'm concerned... Anyway, share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.